this video, I'm going to show you how I built this Tequato monument using the home state system. This is actually the first stage of the building of this monument. To build the foundation of the monument, I used the walls and then I lowered the walls into the ground to make it flat like this. To do this is actually very simple. We just use the number 2 key and then use the vertical alignment and lower the wall into the ground. As you can see, I used 4 pieces of the wall to make the foundation of this monument. The next step is very simple. I just use the walls as pillars and then place it around the foundation. You just need to use the number 2 to position the pillars correctly and also number 3 to rotate the pillars correctly so that they will align to the other pillars and also to the foundation. Once you have aligned the pillars to the foundation properly, you just need to press the number 1 key to place it. In order to ensure that the pillars are of the same scale, you have to use the number 7 key to make sure that the pillars that you are going to position are of the same size and scale as the previous. Now you just need to repeat the same process for the rest of the pillars that you're going to place on the foundation. Now that I'm satisfied with the foundation and the pillars and how they are aligned and positioned, I'm going to remove the Tequato Trophy from its current location and then place it in the new monument. This is the existing Tequato Monument or Tequato Trophy. I'm going to place them back into the gallery, the wall and also the trophy and then I'm going to move it to the new monument. The first thing I'm going to do is to place the Tequato Trophy. I'm going to place it at the center of the foundation. The next step is to enlarge the Tequato Trophy using the scaling feature or function which is the number 4 key. And then I'm going to place it into position using the usual positioning tool which is the number 2 key. And then I'm going to rotate it properly to align it to the pillars using the number 3 key. Once I have placed the Tequato Trophy at the center of the monument, I can now place two torches beside it. Using the same scaling tool and also the rotation and positioning tool, I can place the torches right next to the Tequato Trophy and align them properly 
to the pillars. Remember to ignite the torches and when you place the second torch, remember to use the number 7 key in order to ensure that it is of the same size as the first torch. So there you have it, the first stage of my Tequato Monument. So this is the core of the Tequato Monument. And the second stage will be adding arches next to it, together with tall pillars from Ilonia. I will also add lion statues as well. I hope you like this video. If this is helpful and you find it fun to watch, please give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.